you're listening to the Inquisitive Wren Podcast, the show that brings you philosophical ponderings of your life from a bird's eye view. Now, here's your host, Shah. Kelly Jo Mentor is an actress, fashion designer, and artist. Her creative work spans a very impressive four decades in film and television. She's worked on many TV series such as Fame, TJ Hooker, A Different World, Hill Street Blues, Martin, ER, and many others. She has also starred in many TV movies such as Sunset Grill, The Rich Man's Wife, and Providence. Her film credits include Mask, starring alongside Cher, which received critical acclaim, The Lost Boys, Summer School, starring Mark Harmon, and other credits include House Party, Doc Hollywood, New Jack City, and one of her most acknowledged and recognized films, A Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, alongside Robert Englund as Freddy Krueger, as well as The People Under the Stairs. Kelly also has had a very successful fashion handbag designer career, taking Kajo bags into the market of sought-after designer goods. She's currently a hotelier as she runs B&B services, and I'm so happy to be speaking with her today. We have known each other for many, many years, and I'm going to talk with her about her life, her career, her adventures, and yes, there will be some reminiscing, a little bit of an unconventional interview for me just because we know each other but also we found ourselves going down the um, reminiscing game of early Hollywood when we were both very very young Uh, so very exciting interview there was so much there I have to uh, divide it up into three parts listeners so this is part one welcome Kelly Jo Mentor Uh, thank you, Michelle. And uh, I'm glad you're okay. You look amazing. Your energy is amazing. And I just I'm love you so much. Good. I just, I always have. I always will. I don't care where we move to in the world. You know, people think the world is so big, but <laughs> really, <laughs> it's not as big as we think. Shaw, what now I want to know, what have you been up to? Please, what? please tell me about this channel and what... And all I, your good stuff. I always want to know how you move through life, how you get through things. I've had to conquer a lot of stuff myself, still conquering things, always will have challenges. As long as you're alive, you're going to have challenges. And so I accept that. Um, so that's why I wanted you, I because I've known you for so many years. Well, there's really no time loss. I mean, it's like, you know, we got on the phone and it's like, we just pick up. You know what I'm saying? But what you're saying, Shaw, is so true. And I just think people, what is success to people? Yeah. You know what I mean? I've never learned anything from being successful. How about that? I've right. learned a lot by going through a lot of bullshit. Yes, exactly. And going through a lot of pain mm-hmm. and going through things. And I learned from that. If, if you got some sense, you can glean from that, but not, not like, Oh, these successes. What are the successes? It's kind of like, you know, there's you're on this path. You can be what is the path? It's a it's a it's a it's a freaking train track. You got this good thing happening, and then you have this other opposing thing happening. And you gotta and you and you make that work. Yeah. Because guess what? In my world, well, in my world view, what I think, it's there's seasons in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just that's just a principle. Absolutely. And you can well have some good. You're going to have some of this. And then it's just how you working through that and what's really driving you. So like when we were talking about before, as far as careers and mm-hmm. stuff like that, mm-hmm. I mean, I've never went to school for anything. It's just like I've done stuff. I have a, a I'm not scared to do well. I, I can't even say I'm not scared. I do stuff scared. And I think people think, oh, I got to have this business plan. And I got to know. Yes, all of that is great. Yeah. But you still didn't do shit. <laughs> exactly. You know, I do stuff. Yeah. I do it scared. And I think that's it. It's kind of like I am probably a person who uh, I take a lot of risks. Yes, you, you always have done. 
you know what stands out for me, and we're just going to get in it now. Okay. What stands out, okay. I remember you on at one point you would the next thing I knew you were in a I think you were on TV or so the next we were in a club and then a few weeks later you were on TV it was like oh, oh hello what happened what? I, I I had come to see you and this is going to make you laugh I came to see to your apartment in Hollywood um and I ran into Chad bless his soul remember Red Hot Chili remember you used to live yes, right yes. above the Red Hot Chili Peppers yes that was alive and um and I said is she in because they knew you and he's he, he yeah. <laughs> so I went up <laughs> I went up. but you but it was like one day you were doing one thing and the next day you were doing something else and so when you talk about a plan, when you talk about plans and all that, I don't know. Do you think you actually had a plan or did it all fall just into your lap? Well, I had never planned on being an actress. Let's put it that way. Uh, I was on survival mode. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was working in production. Uh, you know, it's kind of like I know how to talk to people. Yes. Uh, yeah. And I work with all kinds of actors. And then one of my friends like, hey, I want you to go meet this director and read for this part. And I had never done anything before. I see it got me a part on Fame because I was doing this documentary. And I think that's what uh, kind of started it. Uh, but I wound up getting this movie Mask with uh, Cher. Yes. And I did that role. And then the next day I came, I said, man, I just did a movie with Cher. They didn't believe me. But I mean, she was so gracious, Sam Elliott, all those people were like, you know, they're, they're ballers, they're stars. They yeah. treated me so well. And it's kind of like, I think that's what it is. Uh, I've seen a lot of really big people. It's kind of like, it's common courtesy. It's just respect for people. Yeah. I'm not going to take no shit from nobody. I think people know that. Yeah, I think people do. <laughs> You know I think what I mean? that's how you've always been. But speaking of mass, that was highly acclaimed. You got, you it know, was. a lot of you stood out. A lot of people told there was a lot of buzz in Hollywood at that time about you in that film. You know, that, I, got, don't you? I got a development deal from that. But of course, right. when right. I was coming up, they didn't. They Oh, let's do the black that girl. They didn't know right. what to do. With me. Right. Right. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like. The roles that I got. I, I was getting them. Mm -hmm. I got, I mean, I probably did as, as many as films as Gene Hackman that year. You know what I mean? People who don't know who Gene Hackman is. So, critically acclaimed Who doesn't actor. know who Gene Hackman is? Some, oh my some, God. Some, some people don't, but you know what? It's a, a Huge. the roles that were out there that were afforded to me. I mean, I, I went out there and beat white girls out of Valley Girl parts because being in the streets, growing up in the streets, I know how to maneuver you could do so it. So they're talking about acting. You're going to pay me for this? Oh, mm -hmm. watch me do this shit. Mm -hmm. That's my motivation. <laughs> no, I didn't go to Lee Strasberg. I'm like, <laughs> I talk people out of killing me. How about that? Okay. You know, <laughs> real talk. I mean, right. that's, yes. that's what it is. Oh, yes. Oh, so yes. I just think, you know, when you come from certain environments, mm. which I did, yeah. you you can assimilate. I mean, I we, Stacey and I were laughing. Uh, I remember we wanted to go to this concert at uh, MacArthur Park and I had uh, my pit bull. I've never seen anybody with a CNI pit bull get on the bus, but the dog wouldn't get in the box. So I got on and I just played it off. So, cause I'm going to the concert. Yeah. So oh, yeah. the thing of it is I have confidence in what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I remember going to the Rolling Stones concert, you know, at the Coliseum, you couldn't get a ticket. Me and my sister said, oh, we're invisible. We're walking through here. Guess what? We walked through there. <laughs> oh, yes. Call me crazy, but that happened. Yeah. Yeah. But I you, always took inspiration from you with that. So from, the, oh, you know, so. I met I met Stacy first. Yes. We know that. Right. So I was yes. friends. She always used to joke with me. She always used to say, my sister always steals my friends. Remember? <laughs> used to say that but then I met you but we were clubbing a lot Stacy didn't like she went to some clubs but she didn't like to go to loads and loads of clubs but we were always when, out when was that y'all Stacy would oh. be out five days a week Stacey she? Be out okay the street lights come on Stacy was ready 
<laughs> okay okay well we did used to go to like three two one and we used to go to like Santa Moody's. Oh, Moody's. No. oh my god so yeah but then <laughs> I know reminiscing oh my god but yeah but I knew you were confident that was the thing and I always took um I always took how do you say inspiration from that Never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button right now. Thank you for your support. You make this podcast possible. Now, back to the show. Yeah, but but you keep your friendships because you're a quality person. And anybody that knows you, I mean, you can know people and have us. That's why we can pick up. Yeah. And you know what I mean? You can't do that with everybody. Every true. You just can't. Yeah. So you know who you are and you draw certain people to you. Hmm. So uh, Thank that's you. an anomaly. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Well, I try. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I, your confidence, I've always taken a lead on that. You know, you've always been a straight shooter, straight from the hip. One thing, though, I did know, I didn't learn about your background until much later on. I knew you for years and I didn't know about it. It was something you didn't dwell on. And that was another thing about you. You didn't dwell on your past. You just got on with things. You know what, though, Shaw? I think things in your past, I mean, people that don't know. I mean, you know, we, we grew up. Uh, I mean, you know, we were gangbangers. We were. Uh, I mean, I used to do professional roof jobs, burglaries, all kinds of stuff. This is survival mode. These are people that I'm around. You know what I mean? So I had a lot of game when I was 14 years old. I already knew how to do a lot of different things. I was in jail, in and out of jail. You know what I mean? My mom would go to Europe. Okay, Kelly's going to be in juvenile hall. So that's our, you know, uh, what are we going to eat? Oh, okay. Well, we're, I guess we'll have to go to the store and steal whatever we're going to eat. It was that kind of thing. I did. My mom has a lot of great attributes. She just was not maternal. And I think people think just because you're a parent means you're parenting. You're not. Exactly. Anybody can so, have a child. Most people can. But yes. Doesn't so mean it's kind of like when I had my kids, I'm like, my kids ain't never, you know what I mean? Or it can go the other way. Mm -hmm. So dwelling on my past, guess what? Uh, you ain't never going back. That's why it's funny when people like, oh, yeah, I'm going back to you know, they get in this nostalgic mood. Yes, because I can talk about the good and the bad, and it's funny to me. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to go back. Right. I've been there. I did that. I'm moving on. I, I don't, I'm not trying to revisit it. And I think a lot of people are trying to recapture a feeling of a certain time. Yes. When you got this whole future right in front of you. Exactly. Uh, I ain't going back. Yeah. I already conquered that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And live to talk about it. That's, and I'm free. Exactly. So there's many things that I can, I mean, I've been kidnapped. I mean, it's some real mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have, it's almost like I'm, I'm talking in the third person, but it's like, it doesn't have a grip on me mm -hmm. because it doesn't. It's because my, my faith in God and how I really trust him and how I've just cast my, oh, I should be, you know, I should be dead. Right. I'm not even saying I should be in a, you know, on crack. No, dead, 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 mm -hmm. dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we were drug dealers, all kinds of stuff. And I mean, and he just kept showing me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I think everybody has to come to that realization. Yeah. And I know that from myself. And I don't try to like, hey, you need to be. No, you don't need to be nothing. Right. I'm going to be who I am and let my light shine. But I got a real testimony. Yes, and, you have. And I and I'm living it out, but it's kind of like, it, how does it serve you to go back? And then even people that who used you, who uh, manipulated you, all kinds of stuff. And it's not even somebody that you don't know. It's people that you trust. Yes. You know what I mean? And I think that's why people, uh, they have a hard time. Mm -hmm. they, they, they're, they're trying to recapture something. Guess what? You're never going to get it. Exactly. But this is what I want people to know because when I met you I didn't I would not have known about your past you didn't talk about it you didn't dwell on 
So when people sit and say, you know, they sit in misery a lot and they say, oh, but I've come from this or I've come from that or my father was this or my mother was that or I went through this and I went through and it's hard for me. I can't be, you know. I have met you and I know that unless you had talked about your past, I wouldn't have known. And for me, that is somebody who can have the grace of God or have the grace of whatever your beliefs, because I'm not preaching mm-hmm, religion mm-hmm, here, mm-hmm. but whatever anybody's beliefs, that's somebody who is helped and blessed to just move forward and yeah. not look back, only look back perhaps in testimonial and to help other people. But you, in other words, what I'm trying to say is you, you weren't living your past. No. And I think a lot of people, let me, that's, it's kind of, it's, it's not like, oh, wow, this is some, Kelly's just the mm. strong, mm. confident. No, mm. it's the grace of God, yeah. period, mm-hmm. period, period. Because I should have been lost in my mind. You know what I mean? But it's like, I confront stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I don't know the, 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 the sound bite, click words and all that mm. shit. It's mm. kind of like, I confront it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I know who I am. Yes. Yeah. That I, that's I know who I am, and I know God has great things for me, mm-hmm. and He's opened up so many doors. I mean, and He's proven Himself to me. But it's kind of like, yeah, you living in this life. But like I said, you know, there's a train going this way, and there's you know, there's ebbs and flows, honey, all the time. All the time. So you might have this great success over here but you might be having a health issue. Exactly. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, email me at inquire at theinquisitiveren.com. That's E-N-Q-U-I-R-E at theinquisitiveren.com. Be sure to check all social media, especially the Facebook page for new topics and new interests. And if you're an expert in the field, I'd love to hear from you. Or if you'd just like to have a chat, contact me. Let's get you on the show. Now, let's get back to the show. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the two are always, you know what I mean? So you got to have some balance in your life. And I think uh, being grateful and having, what what is attitude? How do you feel about yourself? You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, even when people tell me, oh, I'm, I don't have no, I'm like, you ain't living in no third world country, but no, there, until you have traveled and you really seen some stuff. And I have yeah, not poor, stop whining. I guess that's what it is. I'm not no poop, but uh, I don't no, care. I have eaten uh, potatoes that weren't even all the way cooked. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And uh, this is what we're eating. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and I'm living in America. Yeah. You're not living somewhere where it's like, okay, you got, so stop crying about this shit. Exactly. Forgive me for cussing, but you know, you how know I do. I do. Yeah. but uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's kind of like, you know, is the glass half full or half empty? Right. I'm just like, I ain't never going to be broke. I remember sitting on the curb looking for cigarette butts, you know, getting ready to watch Soul Train, watch Soul Train. Okay. Let's go out here and let's get motivated. We're going to get some money. You know what I mean? Walking in places, do 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 do. I'm casing the whole thing out because I'm about to rob you tomorrow, but you just don't know it. Mm. That's what that's what it was, right? You know what I mean. So yeah, motivated because it's like I ain't going down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. I seen all my friends, you know, getting pregnant at 15 years Mm -hmm. old, this Mm -hmm. that, and I was around, you know, uh, cholas. I was around. I was all over LA. Mm -hmm. I had so many different types of friends. And I think that's another thing. People just get stunted in their growth because yeah. they just want to stay what they're comfortable with. Yeah. I've always been around because I'm the youngest of six yeah. kids. My older sisters, they were like hippies. I all kinds of stuff. So I've been uh, exposed. Yeah. So if you don't expose your kids to things, somebody else will. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But you see that experience. So when you were in let's say uh now what was that film because a lot you know i had moved here by then you and tj yeah. hooker a different world fame gosh you weren't fame 
Yes. <laughs> Hill Street Blues, Martin, <laughs> ER. I'm just r- really, I had to do a bit of homework <laughs> here. ER, many others, but you were in a film where you, with Mark Harmon as well. I did see that. Um, summer, school. summer School. That was excellent. Right. That was it. But what was the film for people, um, you're going to kill me, uh, where you played, did you play a drug addict? Uh, a, a few, sure. Oh, a few. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I was in New, New Jack City. New Jack I mean, City. I did, That's what yeah. I wanted to talk about. New Jack City. And then you went into the frightening films, you know, people right. under the stairs yeah. and all that stuff where yeah. I can't watch. I still can't watch those <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy right. Krueger, you did all Some of Some real cult classics, you know yes. what I mean? I've yes. been very uh, fortunate to have worked. I mean, this they're pop culture. Yeah, they are. Embedded yeah. in people's minds. And people go nuts for you. There's um, there's groups, there's uh, fairs, there's all Oh, this. my gosh. Yeah. I do find that the horror fans are, they are some of the nicest people they are they know dialogue i'm like huh what <laughs> but i mean they are really into the genre mm-hmm. and i mean and they're just come from every walk of life right yeah uh, because i wasn't even gonna do uh nightmare on elm street and so i'm like i ain't doing that and then my neighbor she's like no kelly you gotta do it and i'm like because i don't even watch scary movies right so, uh, but I wound up doing it. And, and it's funny because it's like, I always look at, what do you want me to get from this? Or why I feel like mm. I've placed certain, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I've been places where people were kicking heroin for seven days in their room. And I just slipped them a little note underneath their door. And they wind up telling me like, you know, seven or eight years later, it's like, Kelly, I couldn't stand you. He said, but you know what? That little note, that little scripture you sent me under the door, I never forgot about that. Wow. So, you know, I'm in the Philippines, 100 feet under the ground where they kept prisoners. We were doing a movie out there. We didn't have no business doing in helicopters. But these are like missions. What am I supposed to be doing mm-hmm. here? Who am I supposed to be meeting? Mm-hmm. It's not even about the movie. You know what I mean? Because money's gonna come to me. Mm. So it's kind of like people out there, they're, they're, they're hurt. Yeah. So I, it's, almost, it's, it's a ministry, but it's not uh, like what people think ministry is, yeah. you know, not this it's religious. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like, I, 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 I relate to the downtrodden, the people who are going through pain. I, I can relate to that. And I can, I think I can articulate it because I know what it is, Mm. (laughs) you know, but uh, maybe they just haven't heard it that way. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, God wants you to live your life free. Yeah. And people aren't free. I'm free. All right. I know I'm free. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not like haunted by something. And I I mean, I mean, gosh, And, and it's not like, it was a uh, love this 30 day process. If you do this, this is it, like, it was, it's his grace. It's his mercy. That's all it is. Right. Yeah. I wish I could give you a 10 step. <laughs> I don't know it. Right. I still go through trials. But you used your, you used your inherent experience and what you went through to play some of those roles then, didn't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I mean, there were times it's like, you know, there's some movies out there. And people have come to me later on saying, Kelly, you know, you killed that Mm -hmm. part. Mm -hmm. You should have gotten it. But the next person just came off another big movie. And it's kind of like, it's like, I lived that. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you put on that paper. I'm going to be bringing the fire Mm -hmm. because I lived that. Yeah. What about, you know what I mean? What about that breakdance movie? (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) You know what, Shaw, you know, those are some of the best. I had so much fun on that. And I had my friend uh, Skate come out here from uh, New York, and that's when Oz was alive. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, I mean that whole scene—it was just, you know, that's what people thought. Oh, hip hop is not going to last. It's like people said that. Uh, yeah, you know that. I remember. Yeah, it was and, crazy. Uh, uh, and look at it now. 
I had the opportunity to to meet so many people and it's just a trip. See, like, wow, this whole thing, even looking at the Super Bowl the other day. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, yes. wow. I lived in Compton, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? And seeing that little slice of life uh, globally, mm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't think that they did. They didn't turn it up. Like, I mean, why <laughs> would you have a low rider if that's like I wasn't jumping on right, the field? Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So, but, you know, I'll, I'll take it on to a whole nother level. But, <laughs> I know but, what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're going to do it, do it. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, it's just it's just really good to see, you know, the culture because everybody is appropriating black culture. And it's crazy, too, because people are like, oh, you must be Puerto Rican. Oh, you must be da, da, da. No, I'm black. They've always yeah. said that about you, though. They've all Mexican. Yeah. Remember, they used to say. Yes. Yeah. 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 My sister just uh, one of my sisters just did her DNA and they said, oh, you know what? You know, I'm like my mom, you know, my mom, is, she's a she's a character. So. You never know what's the real truth. How about that? Right. But, you know, we have a lot of Iberian Peninsula. Of course, we are African. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, but Iberian Peninsula, uh, Tuscany. But oh. here's the thing. Black people know other black people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care. You know, just like that movie Passing, which I like. Okay. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know how, but I see how at certain times my mother in law, she's, she's kind of light brown skin and her sister was lighter and she had to go to one laundry mat and yeah. the other, the other sister had to go somewhere else. You know, that wasn't that long ago. That's the way it was and still can be. Yeah. Yes. And she grew up in New Orleans. So, you oh, know, oof. that's where my family's from. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it's just a trip talking to her. And just, you know, the whole culture, it's like, I'm proud to be who I am. I'm a, I'm a black woman, but I don't have to be, uh, and nobody's speaking for me. How about that? Right, right. Or labeling you or, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm me. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, I see people get on the bandwagons of all the, that's oh, yeah. cool. But I'm me. You, you, you can't put me in that box. Right. But did that ever, I just wondered about that with the roles you went for, did that, did your agent say, oh, you know, they're looking for this or they're looking for that. They don't want a black person. Did, did race uh, ever come into it? Of course. Of course. I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, what's really crazy. Even when I was doing a different world, <clears throat> you know, I had my first son and I had brought him up there for, we were doing some kind of blocking or something. Mm. And like years later, Robbie Reach, casting director, she's like, you know, uh, I would have been doing more shows on A Different World, but Bill Cosby didn't want me to be on the show because I was an unwed mother. What? Yes. Yes. Yeah. The the hypocrisy. Of it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Yeah. That wasn't a good look. I mean, so there's... I see now I see later on, you know, you know, nobody knows the full story of the Lisa thing, you know what I mean? But uh, I know that happened to me because somebody told me and I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. I got I did two episodes, but I was doing movies and stuff anyway. So it wasn't like, you know, I I needed to do that. I was doing other things. But there have been roles where, you know, my agent, you know, even when I was pregnant and like, oh, are you ready to have a baby? You know, the. I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? All, I was doing the movie, The Principal, and they didn't want to hire me, and I was pregnant. They didn't know I was pregnant. But I was just like, nah, I got to, I'm like, I'm going to get my money. How about yes. that? Yeah. So it's kind of like, don't hire me. I don't care. But of course, by that time, I was like four months pregnant. And then the person who had the role, they fired her, and, they, and then they hired me. Oh, Okay. You know what I mean? And then there's been times where it's kind of like, wow, nudity for people is, can be an art form. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I see so much. It's just like, mm-hmm. I, it's just too gratuitous mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. It's like, do you have to, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's porn. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's, that's not, that's not paramount to the story that you have to do that. That's just my own opinion. Yeah. 
No, there was a there was a movie I was going to do. I don't know if you remember it, Angel Heart. Oh, yes. That Lisa Bonet ended up. Doing. Yes. I was. I mean, when I was like I was reading that and I'm like, I'm not doing it. I'm out. I'm not doing a sex scene in some simulated chicken blood. Uh, yeah. There's just certain things I'm not doing. Right. I'm not passing any judgment on anybody else. But I always thought in the back of my mind, someday I'm going to have kids. And mm. I don't want, but <laughs> I can say that, but I'm out here robbing people. I'm burglarizing. I'm selling oh. drugs. I'm doing this. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. So you know what? That was that for me. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, it's not like I'm still up here some kind of angel, honey. I done did a whole lot of stuff. Yeah. But it for just, me. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. For me, that I was just like, no, nah, I didn't want to do that. And that that that's me. Yeah. You know, what I mean? so I, I missed out on some situations because of that. Oh, sorry. That's all right. But then, uh, but you it know was what I mean? Controversial, so, very controversial. Even for her, it went. Well, yeah, she came I out mean, of really, that. for her, commit a Cosby kid. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's just like, yeah, I'm sure she wanted to break away from that image and yeah. do her. So you know, go ahead. I and remember, do yeah, I remember seeing her at. Do you remember Funky Reggae? Yes, <laughs> yes. Stacy used to go there. But yeah, I, do I, I may have been with Stacy. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I remember seeing Lisa Bonet at Funky Reggae once. I think it was right before Angel Heart got, came out. Okay. Yeah, but but yeah, that movie, you know, I remember it. Um, yeah. It was interesting. Mickey Rourke, I think, was in it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. interesting. But yeah, you, you, yeah, that was a, that was some role. Right. So, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, I was having opportunities. and But at the end of the day, Shaw, it's like, hey, you know what? I had a child now, so yeah. it was like, yeah. hey, you know, I got, I have a house. I got some real mm -hmm. stuff that I got to deal with. No, I don't need to go to your house to be with all the black Hollywood and play spades. I did all that in jail. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I never fit into that. Mm. I never assimilated into that because um, I, that, that actor's life, that whole thing. Okay, you're coming from you know, somewhere and you're landing in Hollywood, honey, I've been in Hollywood. Okay. Yeah. I would hitchhike up in Hollywood. It's like, it was, it was old already for me. Yeah. So it's not like, Hey, I'm trying to capture this dream. No, I'm out here. Uh, this is something that I can make some money on. And this is something that I do. I ain't living for this. Yeah. And that's the whole thing. I never did. But some uh, people do that. They will, they will, as you know, sell, literally sell their souls. Oh, all, or, day, all day. You know what I mean? And people even to be relevant, mm -hmm. you know, there's actresses and actors and people out there. Okay. You're in your forties and fifties and all of that. That's great. I, I, I think, I mean, I, I see people, uh, what, what was his name? Morgan Freeman didn't really start acting until he was yes. later in, in, in age. Right. You know yeah. what I mean? It's kind of like wherever your individual bent is yeah. and you yeah. do that. But I'm just saying how it's manufactured now is it's, you know, everybody's trying to be relevant. Mm. Yeah. Is it you about know, acting it, anymore? Is it no, really? no, it isn't. It isn't. And it's kind of like the good parts that come up. Okay. You have to create your part. Yeah. You have to create your part. I mean, it's like, you know, you look at the Academy Awards. I never looked at that kind of stuff either. It's kind of like, this is some white man controlled stuff. You know what I mean? Okay, we're going to put you on. You know, we're going to give you this. If that was the case, Angela Bassett could have won an Academy Award. This is not about talent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is about, here, this is your time, and we're going to put money behind this, and we're going we're gonna to give you these crumbs. Exactly. And so if you're looking for somebody to validate you, it's kind of like the, the films that have, you know, people did independent films that have grossed freaking a hundred million dollars and they, they, been, they did that shit for $15,000. You know what I mean? So I'm a proponent of make your thing happen right. because yeah. you want to make it happen. Back in those days, you couldn't get a distribution deal because, Absolutely. oh, black people don't sell well in Europe. Mm. 
Black culture is everything. Are you kidding me? They do. It's huge. Yes. Paris. Oh, my God. France. Absolutely. They just eat it up. Yes. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, you know, you're adapting, but you couldn't sell a movie there. You know what I mean? So I'm so glad that the movies that are, I don't want to see no more slave movies. Mm. Uh, there's so much more to us. Stories like, been told. What, yeah. But what will they allow you to do? for the distribution, for this, for that. I was looking at this, uh, uh, I think I was listening to this program with Selma Hayek, how when she did uh, uh, Frida Kahlo, oh, man, yeah. they, 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 made her, they made her really, really, really go through some hoops. I mean, she's balling now, I'm sure she can do whatever she yeah. wants to do. Yeah. But, you know, during that uh, Miramax thing where she had to deal, deal with uh, Harvey Bobby. Weinstein, he, he, he made her go through some hoops to get that movie done. Thank you so much for watching. Join me on Sunday, the 3rd of April for part two, as we delve into the world of working in Hollywood, how you choose your part, and so many more really interesting stories. We also talk about some TV programs that we've both been on, uh, dance programs, things like that. So don't forget to join us, 3rd of April, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss an episode. Once again, see you soon.